Um, Sheikh, what's ruling on someone who is speaking and accusing someone without knowledge and evidence, but out of ignorance and uh, assumption? What can the what can the consequence be? Oh, this is too generic, uh, CD. And can you be a little bit? Uh, you elaborate a little bit. For example, there's a person he says that this and this person is from ISIS or from this and that and he's bad. And so, just out of uh, assumption and uh, ignorance. This is slandering. And accusing people without evidence is a major sin. Allah mentioned in uh, Surah Al-Hujurat, avoid some of the doubts because, uh, avoid most of the doubts because some of the doubt is sinful. So just because some of it is sinful, the vast majority of doubting is prohibited upon us. And to go and throw accusations right, left, and center. It's everybody's game. Everyone can do this. I can accuse you of being a LGBTQ supporter. You should, no, 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 I'm straight. I don't support these things, and I'm uh, a straight person. Say, no, 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 no. I've seen you wearing a, a red uh, shirt the other day and blue uh, sneakers. And uh, this means that you are uh, this, you're that. Anyone can throw such accusations. What to do? Such ignorant people, we say, salam. And we don't argue with them. It is illogical, CD. When you walk and you get a dog barking at you, it's illogical to fall on your hands and knees and bark back. So those who accuse us of this and that, life is too short for us to stop and speak to them. Abu Ayyub al-Sakhtayani, the sheikh of Imam Bukhari, was once approached by the head of innovation in the community. And he said, Ya Imam, wait so I can speak to you a single word. And he said to him, not even half a word. And he moved on. Another one came to him and he said, can I speak to you for a moment? He said to him, stop the sun if you can, and then come and talk to me. And he left. And they said to him, why don't you communicate? Why don't you argue and debate with them? He said, life is too short. I'm afraid if I speak with such ignorant people that they may, shaitan may throw a shred of doubt in my heart that would impact me at the time of death. I Trust what I believe, and I believe what I've learned, so I don't have any doubts. Why would I communicate with such ignorant people? Likewise, why should we defend ourselves in front of such ignorant people? No.